Right, so in today's vlog, my friends, and it's peeing it down. It's, this is the problem with summer, you see. This is the problem with the British summertime. When you have a staycation in the capital or wherever. Wherever. It could, it could rain. Yeah. That's the issue. At least well, it's warm. This, at least it's warm, yeah. And it's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice weekend as well. It's going to yeah. be a super nice weekend. So looking forward to that. Anyway, we digress in today's vlog. Going to spoil the surprise by the way. What surprise? The, the weekend. Oh, well, this will have been, <laughs> will have done the weekend by oh, the time yeah. this gets done. So, we are actually going to Margate, ah, yes. Ramsgate in a future vlog. So, keep an eye out for that. But today, just a quick one we're going to go for fish and chips at the Rock and Soul place in Covent Garden. And it's one, one of the oldest fish and chip shops. Around basically. Oh, I thought he was going to do your Jeremy Clarkson. Well, all right, I'll say it anyway. It probably isn't, but in the world. <laughs> so we're off there, and I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm super well. hungry. Thanks so, hungry. yeah, don't forget like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. Follow this guy, he's on the end as well. See a little picture of him. Uh, now, without further ado, my friends, and you've got your mask on. I've took mine off, but people will say, Where's your mask? It's because I've took it off because apparently you have to be able to lip read P people with uh, visually impaired oh, uh, no, not visually impaired hearing impaired visually impaired they wouldn't see me moving my lips would they no so with hearing impairment so there we go anyway what am i going on about we need fish and chips and i'll put my mask on in a minute before we go on the train let's go Because he's got his umbrella up. <laughs> because I'm really tight and we're doing things on a budget. Because you've got to do things on a budget, right? We're not taking an Uber or a taxi from here because we're staying uh, in, uh, where are we? Can you, not can you, it's the Docklands, isn't it? Yeah. So we're staying in the Docklands. We're going to get about 16 different underground trains. Yeah, it's a two aeroplanes, three cars, two taxis, <laughs> four electric skateboards to get to Covent Garden. Now we're actually going to get, how many, how many trains are we getting? Uh, three, you've got DLR, Jubilee Line, Underground, and then change Northern Line to get to Leicester Square, and then we'll walk from there. Right, a lot of trains basically, but we're going to take you guys with us, so stay with us, and uh, hopefully this is going to bait in a bit. Well, where we're where we going to, they've got They've got inside seating and outside, so... Yeah, they have. I've been there before, actually, but we're going to review it. I went many, many years ago. can't remember exactly what it was like. We're going to review it, mark it out of ten, and uh, should be should be exciting. You know I love fish and chips, so this should be a good one. Can you Southerners do fish and chips as good as Yorkshire? Ooh, Ooh. challenge. <laughs> Come on, onwards. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we've got yeah, now, yeah. yeah. Tip Northern Line. Northern tip, line. Tip, northern. tip Northern. Tip Northern Line. Northern. <laughs> Bloody Northern. We went Tip Northern Line. journey so now we've got a walk to Covent Garden which is not far from here I don't believe is it five Leicester minutes. Square five minute walk in the rain oh man all this for fish and chips <laughs> you could have just put some on at home or had them delivered you could have gone to Shake Shack you could have gone to Shake Shack come on onwards Okay, so we're in Covent Garden. We need to find Neil Street now, and then uh, the fish and chip shops around there somewhere. Man, it is wet. Bloody hell, it's just a menagerie of umbrellas. <laughs> Find anyone like where who's under all the brollies? What's going on? Take a walk in peace and hear what I'm saying now. The world is obsessed with material things. It's time to throw away your selfish needs. Let's let your words agree. Yeah, we're going to eat inside, thank you. Yeah, you can take a table on the corner. Table on the corner? Magic, thank you. Oh. Made it. Blimey. Oh, good grief. It's better be worth it, I'm telling you. It better be worth it. That's all I'm saying. 20 minutes later. Right, okay, so I've dried out. Um, and you're not having the fish because uh, it comes with the skin on it, but he did say, to be fair, he said, uh, I said, can you do it without the skin? And he went, I'll give it a go. Which then that rings alarm bells with you, but we're gonna give it a go um, and see how it is. So I've got cod chips and peas, um, but I've asked for it without the skin, like in Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Eh, 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 why did they do that in Yorkshire? They go, eh, 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 eh. What's this, eh? 
<laughs> okay, got a cup of tea. Mandatory to have a cup of tea with your fish and chips. Only thing is, better be Yorkshire tea. Eh? Better be Yorkshire tea. Because if it ain't from bloody Yorkshire, Yorkshire it ain't bloody worth having. <laughs> Darren has just said he's never known anyone to have a cup of tea with fish and chips. Are you mental? Are you mental down here, eh? What <laughs> the bloody... Of course you have a cup of tea with bloody fish and chips, don't you? Eh? Eh? <laughs> we bloody invented the tea. We invented fish and chips in Yorkshire. In fact, we invented... We invented everything. Everything that's good, we invented in Yorkshire. <laughs> anything that's bad, it was invented down here, you southern softies. <laughs> Right, okay my friends, we've got the fish and chips here, uh, got some tart sauce on the side, got the chips, got that, I'm not sure what that is, what's that? It's a bit of parsley in there. Yes. Don't need that. Um, right, so <laughs> you've got you've got scampi and chips there. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at that. Just have a look. Here we go, a bit of lemon as well. Always a bit of lemon. What's the bloody lemon for, eh? Eh? <laughs> have a look. and that happens. Oh, oh. You didn't shake it first. That's always bad when you get that little bit of, I'm not even gonna say it, I know what some people call it, ketchup, whatever, you know, with the vinegar when you don't shake it. Anyway, <laughs> oh, you've got to shake it first, otherwise you get that vinegary bit out first. I'm gonna put the salt and vinegar on now, I'm gonna put some ketchup on myself, I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna come back to you guys, I'm gonna mark this out at 10. Moments later. Alright, cutting through the batter. A little bit of crisp, a little bit of crisp. Here's your, here's your fish, that's a cod. judgment until I've eaten them all. See you guys in uh, well about five minutes for this. I can polish this off in five. See you shortly. Right. I'm gonna mark this out of ten and I've come outside and first of all it was 34 pounds, right? 34 quid, right? 30, look, there you go. 34 quid, right? That's outrageous to start with, <laughs> even for London, because you said yeah. it should be about 24 quid. Hmm. I'm gonna give that marks out of 10. I'm gonna say that's the worst fish and chips I've ever had. And it's on a par with, the worst ones I had was at I think it was at Amanda's underneath the uh, Santa Maria Hotel. Oh, Amanda's, yeah. Yeah, that was terrible fish and chips. That was on a par with that. And I'll tell you why. Because first of all, right, it was frozen fish. Because it was wet. I cut into it and I thought, what's all the water on the plate? It was wet. The fish was wet. I did eat it all because I, I was hungry. And for 34 quid, I'm not going to leave it. Right? <clears throat> and you noticed it was frozen. Because it clanked on the plate at the back. Because what it, what it is, we, they said all the fish comes with skin. So we asked if we could have it without skin. And the guy said, oh, well, I'll try. So that, that gave me a red flag straight away, just to say that I'll try. And then I saw him put the, the fish on a plate and it clanked, so it was frozen. So I said, excuse me, cancel mine, I'll have scampi because I'm not having that. And then Lee asked, 
excuse me, is it frozen? And they said no. So they even lied about it. So, yeah, not great. I'm going to mark it out of 10. I'm going to give it... <laughs> They'll probably come after me now. I'm going to give it... 1.6. Ooh! A 1.6. Absolutely outrageous price. A frozen fish. And they lied. Yeah. So 1.6, terrible. Avoid at all costs. It's the worst fish and chips I've had in the UK. There you go. That's saying something, isn't it? So, anyway, onwards, my friends. You live and learn. And it says, if you have been to our competition once, you'll know it was once too often. That's, I think that, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's the second lie. <laughs> that's another lie. Guys, see you in the next one. <laughs> And don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way, if you're new to the channel. That's if you like the content anyway. If you don't, don't. See you guys. We're off for a pint. You coming? Yes, let's go. Yeah, come on.